Hello, this is David Marco for OnTheMat.com. It is my honor to be joined by Professor Carlos Lemos, Jr. He is a second degree black belt under the world famous instructor Carlos Gracie, Jr. He's a two time Brazilian Jiu Jitsu world champion. He's a Pan American champion, a European champion, and a five time Brazilian Jiu Jitsu champion, and a famed international instructor. Carlos, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you, David. It's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, the pleasure is really all mine. You've had a phenomenal run recently. You competed in the Midwest Naga Tournament, and you won the, ch the championship in not only the Gi category, but also the non-Gi. And you defeated two of the greatest fighters in the world, in Jeff Curran and Henry Metamoros. What's your secret? How'd you pull it off? Well, it's not uh, that is a, a secret for that. Uh, I've been training with the best and under the best since I know myself as a jiu-jitsu fighter. I started, this started uh, 17 years ago back in Brazil when I started training with Master Carlos and other uh, black belts from Master Carlos. Uh, over there, man, I had, a, I had a world championships every day. On my training sessions, some of the best black belts in the world today we grew up together. So I think if that is a secret, that was my secret. So in uh, being in, in uh, mid uh, Midwest mm -hmm. and uh, start and helping Gracie Baja to 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 get growing over here, mm -hmm. I don't have many black belts, purple belts, brown belts, top-notch uh, students to train with. I've been training with white belts and blue belts at most. So you made it to the quarterfinals just recently of the World Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Championship, training with blue belts and white belts? Yeah, that, wow. that's it. Like, uh, obviously, I, I've been having a great help on my physical condition from Professor Pablo Otep, who's one of the, the main instructors over here, but also he's a brilliant physical trainer. So he's been helping me on my physical training. However, I, I don't have many, many uh, high grades in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu to train with. I'm training mainly with my students, uh, like I said, white belts and blue belts. But I had a solid foundation on my Jiu Jitsu. It's my background, which, which I, I try to keep alive. And uh, obviously, it, it, it could be better if I would have more training, but the way it is now, it's, it's uh, just proving to everyone that the jiu-jitsu that we learn in Gracie Baja, jiu-jitsu that I know, is the real jiu-jitsu. It's uh, effective. You know, in watching your fighting style, it's, it's very different than many fighters today. Many fighters to me are, for, for lack of a better term, fighting for points. But you don't fight for points. I, I see you're going for a submission. Could, could you talk about that a little bit? Well, uh, if we, I, I would like to mention history. Please. If you, if you, if you go back on times, jujitsu first was invented, was created in India by the monks on their peregrinations. They had, they, they, they were, they used, they, they're usually assaulted by bandits. And they had to, 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 uh, to find out a self-defense system that, could, that would uh, save their lives. Mm -hmm. But that means this really disabling something from fighting. Once Jiu-Jitsu immigrated to, to Japan, and that's where the name came from, because in Japanese, Jiu-Jitsu means gentle art, mm -hmm. or gentle knowledge. Jiu means gentle, Jitsu means knowledge or art. So in Japan, it, 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 Jiu-Jitsu got a, a whole martial aspect because it was used in the actual battle, battlefield. Mm. So, the, the, the roots of our art, they are, they, there wasn't a, a, a point system back in the day. <laughs> Not on the battlefield. You, no, you have to disable someone. Yeah. Okay, you have to finish that person or, you, or that, that, that particular enemy would kill you. Mm -hmm. So, that was bought to Brazil, and uh, everyone knows the, the story, by a, by a noble Japanese man. 
boot out to the, my master's father, uh, Mr. Carlos Gracie Sr., Grandmaster Carlos Gracie Sr., was the first Western to know Jiu Jitsu. And the Gracies, they evolved that over almost 100 years mm -hmm. and made that a uh, 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 Brazilian uh, martial art, with a, uh, a martial art with a Brazilian identity. So, when the points they were created they mm -hmm. initially, they were created as a simulation of a real fight mm -hmm. without strikes. So the thought that I always tell my students is taking someone down in a real fight, mm -hmm. do you think that gonna disable the guy or finish the guy? Mm -hmm. Not really. Most of the most of the times the guy will fail, but you will be able to carry on fight. And he'll get back up. Exactly. What about sweeping someone? Do you think you can kill someone or disable someone by sweeping? Of course not. So that's why these are the lower scores that you get in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Okay, unless the guy fall, uh, fell, uh, falls on his head, mm -hmm. he will be able to carry on fight. So then what about passing the guy? Mm -hmm. if, you pass in, if you pass someone's guy, can you finish a fight and go? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I can strike, I can mm -hmm. put a, a lock, I can maybe choke. Mm -hmm. So that is a, 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 a good probability to finish a fight from there. So you get a higher score, you get three points. And from the back mount, mm -hmm. can you finish someone? Absolutely, if you are. And, the, and, and your opponent can't do anything against you. And from the mount, can you finish someone? Mm -hmm. If, I, if we pick a, a 80 year old lady mm -hmm. walking down the street now, bring her to the gym, she never had no access to Jiu Jitsu, and I get you sitting mm -hmm. on, on my chest, mm -hmm. and we ask her, who's winning the fight? Mm -hmm. Obviously, she will say, it's the guy with the smart jacket. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't so, have all the fancy logos. <laughs> <laughs> so, That was the original point system, okay? But because of the uh, be, be, because of uh, people trying to always cheat the rules, mm -hmm. this point system they had to evolve. Yes. And the rules and, and the, the actual uh, rules of the sport they have to be adjusted. All right. Do you think they're trying to make it almost more of a sport as opposed to a combat art? No, I I don't. I don't believe that yeah. was the, 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 the initial objective, and I don't believe that that's the intention of the, the, the International Federation. Because Jiu-Jitsu have different, different branches on the same art. One, uh, actually, it's so complex, and it's, uh, it's, a very, uh, it's a complete art that you have different branches on the same art, and many people, they don't know that. So inside the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu system, at least the one that we learn in Grace Bar. Mm -hmm. You have a self-defense system. Okay, it's not an individual art. It's part of jiu-jitsu. You have the sport jiu-jitsu system or aspect. Mm -hmm. And you have the real fight aspect, which nowadays people have been calling it that MMA. Mm -hmm. okay, so all these three things, they are part of, of the actual Gracie jiu-jitsu. It's a complete system. Absolutely. No doubts about it. 